Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Today, LEGO officially released the pictures of the Stranger Things set. That is set number 75810. The upside down, which has 2,287 pieces, will retail for $119.99 USD, $269.99 Canadian, and will be available tomorrow for VIP members and June 1st for non-VIP members at LEGO Shop at Home or in store at the Lego stores. And I can't really wrap my mind around this set for a number of reasons. First off, the content and subject matter, I would say. Uh, the show is, it's pretty dark and pretty scary at points. I think that this is definitely, I would say, pushing the envelope for Lego's properties, but I, it's super exciting. Like I, I love the show when I uh, did my research for the CMF series uh, that you can check linked at the end of this video, but it's really strange to see everything come to life that I've made again with Stranger Things now. Add that to the list of many things now that I've drawn prior to Lego making. So it's just, it's really, it's a strange feeling. I don't know exactly how Justin feels about this, but to me, it's just, it's so strange and it's a strange thought, but pun intended. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the set itself is it's spectacular. I, I can't really believe it. Like, it's such a unique concept that I can't believe that what it is. Like, it's the it's the buyer's house, and you can flip it upside down to create the upside down effect of the house. Uh, you can also detach it and have it as a separate model, which equally looks awesome. And I just can't believe that, like, it's standing on trees. Like, the whole thing is strong enough to stand on trees. I just, I think it's fantastic. I just think it's such a unique idea and while the set doesn't necessarily have a lot of play features that's the biggest play feature i would say um it does come with eight minifigures and let me go through them now we get the demi gorgon which again can't believe that it's actually here it's using the gremlin fawn legs and it's just so strange but i love that the head comes off to have it closed i think that's a really cool feature there and something that maybe we should have done but it's just so unique and i love it a lot will byers here and he has a new hairpiece which it looks pretty cool um i'm not sure if he necessarily needed one though the mid legs are fantastic in the light blue i can't believe the color that we got there joyce buyer she's using hermione's hairpiece and uh, it's really interesting to see here. Uh, I like her accessory. Personally, not really sure why they did Will the Wise of his little drawing that he did of himself from like their Dungeons and Dragons games that they had. Um, but uh, maybe I think because it does play a bigger part in season three, which I'll get to in a little bit. Jim Hopper is here as well. And uh, he could have used a new hair hat combo, but it looks really cool here. He The face printing, I think, it just really captures him. It's really awesome. Lucas is here with the pirate bandana there. Don't know if that works. Don't know if that works. It doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't look like hair. It looks like the bald piece, but I don't know. It's fine. It's cool to get the mid legs in dark brown, though. I like that the slingshot's a new color. Dustin here looking fantastic like look at the hair and hat combo. It's just it's so great oh, I love it a lot. It's just Mike Wheeler is here as well dark green mid legs fantastic and again Looks like our series like it's just it's so weird <laughs> and 11 is here as well and I'm not sure if she has a second face print. I believe that she only has that one so that you can take the hair off or the wig off so that you have her regular look little waffle piece it's just it's so adorable it's interesting uh, to see there also mid legs and white which looks great underneath the skirt piece and that about does it for the figures now i'm going to talk about the ones that are missing obviously we're missing steve nancy and jonathan really disappointed here i think that with such an expensive set they're just such main characters and with such an expensive set i think that they needed to be included here i mean especially with the demigorgon here if you look at the actual set itself you can see that they have the bear trap set up on the floor of the house that's something they did not what the cast and characters here in this set did so to me that's really interesting and i don't get why they're not included maybe with an accessory pack or some other set in the future. I mean, 
if this sells well, which I think it will because it's Stranger Things, Lego's got to do more. They've got to do something else. Maybe a mall, maybe a little part of the mall or something. I'd love that. I, I just want a mall. But uh, <laughs> anyways, the set itself, beautiful. Uh, I didn't realize this when I first saw it, but the lights there look amazing. The, the, the Christmas lights there and underneath is the writing on the wall that she uses to talk to Will. And there's a little light that you actually push and it lights up and it only lights up certain things on the wall. And fortunately it doesn't say right here when with like, it doesn't spell that out. It's still fantastic. And I like that you can like turn on and off. If you look in the attic, you can see the hat there. And that's actually Will the Wise's hat, which has been in a Funko Pop for season three. So again, I think that this is something to do with season three. There's not a lot of references to season two here. Of course, uh, this is more of a set from season one, but you do get the camera that played a big part in season two. And as well, in Hopper's car, you can actually see in the back that there's a pumpkin there. Of course, that played a big part of them finding out everything about what was going on in that season with the rotting pumpkins. <clears throat> with the rotting pumpkins. It's cool to see the little sticker on the side there saying Hawkins Police Department. Really awesome. I, I love this, the, the little car build. It just it looks really great. And that itself, just, just a cool little addition that they didn't need to include, I would say. Anyways, going back to the inside, you have Will's room on the left there with the radio playing, of course, the should I stay or should I go now. And uh, on the wall, you actually have amazing Jaws poster. But it's not actually Jaws. It just says shark. But uh, and if you look at it on the upside out, it's also just the coloring. It's just so smart. Like it just it looks so great. And what they've done here with like adding the plants and everything, showing that it's more overgrown. It, it looks it just it's so stunning and so different than anything that we've ever gotten before. Like to me, this reminds me of the Steamboat Willie set with it being in black and white but just to a whole nother level because you're comparing it to, you've got the comparison right in front of you. Like you just look underneath. It's just, it's fantastic. I just, I can't believe it. And uh, the living room's cool. You've got the telephone, of course, that uh, she always picks up when it rings. Also got a little living room there. I'm not really sure why that was necessarily included, but it's cool to get. It says Christmas boxes and stuff like that in the back. I love the use of the whip pieces to make some of the vines and different things on the front of the house. It's just, it looks really awesome. And uh, just the drips and stuff. It's just such a cool and detailed set. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I don't really have too much to say about the set. But I'm just going to talk about the marketing. Now, I, I don't really have too much to say about the set any more than I already do. Uh, because it's amazing, and I think that the set really speaks for itself. But I'm just going to quickly talk about the marketing campaign for this. I've never seen LEGO do anything to this scale um, that they've done before. Once their Star Wars and Avengers marketing died down, they just jumped right into teasing this set that was coming. And I, I can't really believe it. It's crazy to just to think of all the things that they did. The marketing for this has just been insane. They've been doing little teasers all over the past week, and they've had classic TV ads being run for this set with the classic Lego logo on the boxes. They've had they've had a picture of a Lego store with, with all the city sets flipped upside down. There's some building uh, with the Lego logo that flips upside down on Netflix's Twitter. Like, it's just the campaign for this. I've never seen something to this scale and I think that's a real testament to what Stranger Things is and what Lego is able to do with this property now and I hope that they take advantage of this in the future. But anyways everyone, I don't really have too much more to say about this set. I, I have nothing but praise to say about this. But anyways, I'm not sure if I'll be picking this up tomorrow or any time in the future. Probably going to wait for two times the points though I really do want to get this set at some point. No idea where I'm going to put this. The thing's huge but it's such a cool build and to me I think I want to be able to collect this because of what it means to me with making the series back in October for Stranger Things and now finally getting it in hand it, it's just it's a really weird feeling to me when I get the Toy Story sets and I get the Steamboat Willie sets and I get all these things that I've already made and then Lego does afterwards to me it shows that we are doing the right thing with the cmf drafts and the bricktober packs and stuff like that but anyways everyone what do you guys think of this set are you planning on picking this up tomorrow or maybe june 1st do you have a favorite figure or a favorite section of the house uh, for me probably my favorite figure to see made is 
probably Mike Wheeler. I don't know. He's like the, one of the main characters, and I think he's the closest to what I actually drew. So it's going to be really fun to get him someday. Of course, the Demigorgon is really awesome as well. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.